welcome to week three of the Sunseeker so long. I'm trying to figure out uh, what's going on with the Facebook thing here, so give me a second. I don't know, there was a group chat. Hmm. It's just supposed to be a, an event so people can know, get notified that we're here on YouTube. Let me try to figure it out. Who knows what is going on. Let's see. Um, let's see. Ignore. If you're here, say hello in the comments while I'm trying to fix this. I did not. Uh, Uh, just say hello in the comments. Hello. Let me just ask, answer these folks in the Facebook group. They're confused. Steps from by Facebook to get, get to this event. Just ignore. Hmm. Let me just delete it because this is people are like freaking out because there's a glitch. Hey Starlin! Hi Zaza! Hey Lori! Hi Robin! Hi Tony! Hi Rhonda! Um, yeah, if you're new here, let me know where you're joining us from. I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this post because people are like freaking out. You try to make it convenient for people to find you, and then there's always something, someone that's like, ah! Let's see. I'm gonna remove. Yeah, sometimes uh, Facebook, they prompt you to um, follow certain steps to uh, schedule an event and I just clicked okay 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 I didn't know that it started a um, group chat I frankly don't want to group chat with 1200 people either so let's see I think I deleted those and if they want to leave the group they can I'm sure they never make mistakes or follow prompts by Facebook I don't know they keep on changing events so I was just trying to make it easier for everyone but Obviously that backfires, so I won't t share people with people that were having an event. And they just won't know. Let's see. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Let's see, confirm. Okay, alright, well, I'm done. Okay, so we're here for week three of the so long. I think I fixed it. Uh... Yeah, no, I did not start a group chat, so I don't know what's going on. Why would I want to talk to 12,000 people at once? That does not make any sense. I'm not even in chat. So I just deleted the uh, event, so if you guys know someone that wanted to attend and they couldn't find it, you will you can tell them. All right, and then we have... Oh, uh, we have new people. Yay! Hi, Gwen! You're new to the group. Love it. Welcome! Um, if you got the group chat notification too, just ignore it. If there's something that happens with Facebook and it's bugging you, just ignore it or delete, delete, you know, delete it. That's what we do. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, thanks, Aza. Yeah, I'm, 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 I just deleted the event so I don't get confused messages from people because then I'm going to sit whole, spend the whole day answering messages about messages. So it's like, whatever. Okay, let's forget about it. No more event notifications. And we have Rhonda from Gate City. Uh, Nancy is here from New York. Hi. And let's see, who else do we have? Uh, oh, did I miss anyone? No, I think, oh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Starlin. Just ignore it. And uh, anytime you get a message in Messenger, from what I understand, too, you can just delete it, and that way you won't get any notifications. 
And I get a lot of um, spammy messengers too. So I understand people could get annoyed, but just delete it and then that's easy, right? And Kathy's here from Texas. So we're in uh, week three already. And today I wanted to go over how to make the half blocks with all of you guys. I know they're a little different than the full size blocks. And I figured these little tips could actually help you and save you some time. You might have seen, uh, what's her name? Uh, Shawnee's uh, blocks so you kind of get a little preview of what they all look like and that way you, you'll actually save time when you're uh, putting your quilt together and you need to uh, undo the paper pieces to remove them and unbase the seam losses right so that's why I want to make sure we show you the half block basting tips uh. <laughs> I know I don't know why people freak out when there's like a glitch on Facebook. It's like, good lord, it'll go away and just delete, delete and be gone. Da da. And we have Kathy's here from Texas. Hello. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna switch to the uh, other camera in one second. I want to make sure is everyone doing okay, following along, all right with this all along so far. I keep on looking at your comments to make sure I'm not missing something. Let's see. Last week we did the added the leaves to in between the petals, right? So I think everyone's been doing okay. I honestly didn't get a chance to remove the one that I added. Uh, remember how I, I wanted to do two green colors every other, and I put two of the same next to each other. I didn't get to remove the bad one, but it's easily fixable. So today we'll focus on the half blocks. <laughs> Hi Julie, you had trouble getting here to face. Uh, I'm on YouTube. Uh, here to YouTube. Let me know what kind of glitch it was so I know what's going on. Other than that, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> My goodness. Drama mama, da da da. It's the page. Ah, here we are. So I got my sample fabric here so you can start. If you have the acrylic templates, let me switch to the back side so you can kind of see. You might have noticed. Oh, great. That doesn't show. That shows better. See how there's a line going through half of the center block? And on the pedal, there's a line going through it too. That's for your half blocks that we're going to use the acrylics for. And if you don't have the acrylics, then you're just going to use the papers, put them on yours, and add the seam allowance as, you know, as per usual, right? So I'm going to grab... Um, Center and half pedal. There we go. I'm going to grab a couple of each so we can do those together. And I'll start with the center. And as you can see, when we trace the full center, we trace all the way around it, right? But let's say you just want to trace for the half centers. Oh my god, I don't have nails this and put those there so if you just use papers no acrylics then just put it on your paper fabric put the paper on fabric and eyeball it or however you want to cut your seam allowance that way works if you do have the acrylic benefit is that you can go ahead and trace it now you're going to use the half block and the um dashed line that you see on your acrylic that's the cut line and you see the little holes from marking too so I'm gonna go ahead and go this will be confusing let me go right here so I could technically just line it up right there see how the dashed line goes right with the fabric edge and then I could trace it like so and then I have fabric for half a block but I could also start in the middle, like so. Oop. Let me trace another one. So uh, uh, quite a few of the acrylics in the set here, they're for multi-purpose, right? You can cut the half blocks, quarter, quarter blocks. And oh, I skipped this one. So since I just traced the acrylic right in the middle of the fabric, my head's in the way. See how it has little holes for marking too? So I'm gonna mark those. And that's where I'm gonna have my cut line go. And then I can just come with the ruler, line up where the points are, draw a straight line, and that's where I'll be cutting 
to get my half fabric. Does that make sense? Yes, at least you're here, Julie. We're so glad you made it. Woohoo! Hope it wasn't a YouTube link glitch, right? I hope. No? Or was it the Dread and Facebook post? <laughs> Good lord. And I'm just gonna cut these out. There we go. Uh, Julie says, I don't know what happened. Okay, well, at least you're here. <laughs> Goodness gracious, technology. Even my uh, website, the email system that sends emails out, it said even, even if something was scheduled to go out, let's say at 10, it went out like four hours later, so they had a glitch. It wasn't there on their end, it was on the end. I guess that's hosting their stuff or something. I don't know what was going on. But yeah, everything was delayed. People were freaking out. I'm like, calm down. They'll figure it out. Good lord. And then we also have the half petals. i put my fabric away for nothing. So same concept here. You see the dashed line on the half petal acrylic. So I could technically just squish it in here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. I'll just show you like in the middle of piece of fabric like that. So you can kind of see. I don't need to trace all the way around it, right? So I can just go here around to where the point is. Make sure I mark my point. Little dot there. Same here. Mark my point. And mark the side. Then go up. And now I don't have a straight edge, so I'll just bring my ruler. The two points here. That's where I want to rock line up my ruler to like so oh this is not easy to look at the monitor i'm trying to line it up here we go and i got my straight line and now i can come in with my scissors and cut it Let me just cut one more just in case I need it while I have this template out. And if you just want to eyeball your seam allowance, like I said earlier, just slap your paper on your fabric and cut around it and you're good to go. Oh, hi Helen! We're glad you made it! We just started. I was trying to figure out how to settle everyone's nerves in the Facebook group. <laughs> so you guys we a little late start, but I'm glad you're here today. How are your uh, Sun Seekers coming along? Starlin, I don't think I've seen your Sun Seeker. Hmm. I'm quite curious to see... Starling, you haven't posted, right? And then we have, uh, hi Susan, welcome, welcome. And Lori. Oh. <laughs> Lori, you know what? Me and Matt, we're not the best of friends either. But I think, yeah, just to figure out how, to, if you have the papers, it just makes it easy too, because you could just cut around it, right? It's just the templates. I wanted to make sure I show how to utilize it. And then, um, let's see, the tricky one is the small stone, but we haven't got to yet. It's one of the connecting pieces. This one actually has, so you can get the full stone out of it by tracing it. And then you can also get the half stone 
let me show you since since I have you all here. So half stone, the lengthwise one, we have like that, and then you have the cut line with the holes here. And you can also do use this for the half stone the other way. Like so. Oops. Let me flip it so you can see. Like that. And then you have the marking holes for that one if you want to trace it. And also, it's like a four in one. Woohoo! And then if I place this one right here. Oh no, wrong way. Like so. The quarter stone. And you have the tracing holes over here and over here so you know where to trace that one. Make sense? So it, this one's more like a four in one. But because it didn't make sense for like a few of these templates to have a separate acrylic, right? This way you got them all in one and you can't lose it either. <laughs> I think I lost these like acrylic so many times. Uh, let's see. And Helen, oh yay, I love that you love making them. You got two and you're moving on to three. Yay, awesome. Uh, oh, Starlin, I got a little frustrated with it, so I had to move to something else. i seen your double wedding ring box, though. They're very beautiful. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Lori, I wish I could hear you, right? Yeah, I'm glad it makes sense. And Lori says, yes, it makes sense. Thank you. I'm sitting here nodding my head to you and answering you out loud. LOL. <laughs> awesome sauce. Hi, Sonia! Oh my god! So, Sonia is dealing with the hurricane. I'm so glad you, you got internet. Yay! And I'm so glad you made it today. How are you all doing? Are you safe now? Or what's, what's the uh, situation where you are? Share it with us. I'm so glad to, that you made it. Woohoo! And yeah, Starlin, don't overthink it. You have really good fabric sense so i don't know sometimes i know i know we all keep on changing our minds and then we see someone else and we kind of make it want to make a similar version but stick to your guns whatever your gut first gut instinct was it's good to go with you know so stick to it i'm gonna i'm gonna looking to see what sonia says i hope her inter internet connection is stable so we can hear how she's doing so while we're waiting i'm gonna go ahead and start basting give me one second And this is the way I started. Uh, remember, like for a lot of the patterns that I've been showing you guys through these sew-alongs, if there's an edge that's going to be opened anyways, I tell you guys not to baste it, right? It doesn't make any sense to baste it down just to have to open it up really soon again, right? So we're going to save us some time, some time. And so for the half petal template, go ahead and baste the short sides first. I think my head keeps on getting in the way. Let me switch here. There we go. And if you have a glue pen, you probably get a little more precision, but glue sticks works works fine too. Just make sure you don't get too much glue on the edge of your paper. Start with your short side. Oh, Sonia! Let's see, what did she say? Uh, I've been, what did she say? I've been okay. It was a little scarier, but there's sun right now. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, and she's been working on her double wedding ring. You're a brave woman. <laughs> and oh, so Starlin, it wasn't the pattern, it was the fabric. Yeah, see, don't get stuck on your fabric selections. Plus, if you, you know, really, really don't like it, you can always switch it up later. You're never stuck with anything. There's always options, right? And then I do the short edges. The shortest, I should say. So I start with the short long sides and then do the short, 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 short sides. <laughs> I do that. And do not baste the long edge. You can just leave that unbasted. Did everybody catch that? 
you do not need to baste this side. Ta-da! It's going to save you so much time when you need to remove your papers. And less headache too because it's not glued down. <gasps> oh, hey Elizabeth from Australia. Good morning. Ding. Oh, what time is it in Australia right now? And you guys are getting hot there, no? Going into summer. As we're going into fall and autumn here in the States. It's actually chilly. We have to wear a long sleeve out now. It's terrible. <laughs> Just like, was it like a week ago, a week or two ago? I was complaining it was too hot. And now, now it's like, oh, it's too cold. I need to wear a long sleeve when I go out. In the early, early morning. Yes, Zaza, the medium length first. <laughs> the longer short size and the, the short, short size second. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, lots of prayers to Puerto Rico. I hope there wasn't too much damage, Sonia. Where you are. Like so. 5.30 a.m. Good grief, Elizabeth. What are you doing up so early? That's early, 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 early in the day. Oh, Starlin, I saw the pretty fab uh, Brenda Riddle fabric collection you got for the other quilt you're making. That is so pretty. So this is the half center circle the dodecagon the 12 pointed one the, it's the half piece same here i am not going to base the longest side so i'm gonna just start on the short side here and just go along like so i just start there and then go and then I like to go with the glue all into the fabric too. Let's see. Oops, like so. Oops, I think it moved. There we go. Slap some glue on there. Whoops. Make sure, try not to get too much on the edge, right on the edge of the paper, right here. And as, as you can tell, I keep on holding the glued part down so it sticks. Ta -da -da. And then I'm here on my last side, like so. And I'm just going to leave the long side open. We'll do that one more time. Now I keep on moving it, so I'm going to put a little glue so it doesn't move around on me. I got the ceiling fan on high, so it keeps on shifting it. There we go. Put it into its place, right? So it won't move on me. Oh, no, do I? Ugh. Oh, Elizabeth's getting ready for work. And Yvonne says, by this weekend, high of 96. Well, that's well. It's hotter by me? Great. Thank you. <laughs> ah, 96. I'm going to enjoy the cooler weather while I can. And then I keep on going, basting, basting. And we already covered how to base the petals in the first session. So for the full petals, you already know how to handle those. Like so. Oh, yeah, Brenda Riddle, she's got gorgeous collections. And the nice thing is that they all go together because they all have similar color tones and prints. That's what I like too. Nice to mix and match. So I got my half blocks done. And notice how I 
did not base the long sides. Long sides, you do not need to base these. Oh, everyone else leaving, I mean, buying fabric now, like Fabric Envy. Nancy got some fabric, Moda Layer Cakes, ooh, ooh. Yes, I agree with Zaza. Nancy, you need to let us see them, share them. We love to see. And then, oh, from Jordan Fabrics, black and white and gray prints. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yvonne asks, what year did I go to Arcadia High? I graduated Arcadia High in, oh, hold on, when did I come here? 93, 4, 93? Oh. I was in Chantour's, Yvonne. <laughs> so I think I graduated 94, 93, 93 or 94? 94, I think, yeah, because that fall I went to, fall of 94, I went to UCLA. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I can't even remember. Uh, and was Tony asked? Oh yeah, if you want to, you can leave. You can put a little bit of glue here if you feel that it's gapping around too much. It's flapping around in the wind. Just put a little glue and hold it down. It's definitely an, op an option, yeah, if you prefer, like so. And then it'll just hold it in place. Same for these. And if you don't want to, you don't have to either. So you, you got options here. Put a little glue and stitch it down. Ew, you're a Trojan, Ivan. Boo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I didn't know Jordan Fabrics had a UK shop. That's interesting. Oh, oh I left school the same year as you, Zaza. Oh, cool. Coolio, Julio. Yeah, it may. I, I, I remember getting like the high school reunion invitation. It's like, what was it? 10 year reunion? 20 year reunion? It's like, ooh, do not remind me how long it's been. So we got these half plugs done. Let me, uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, Nancy's got those colors to match her niece's kitchen. Oh, that'll be pretty. Wait, what are you making, Nancy? Now I'm curious. What are you making for her kitchen? Oh, let's see. Oh, Elizabeth, do you have a long commute to work? I hope it's not too bad. <gasps> wow, Nancy's going to her 50-year class reunion. How fun! In two years. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, and she's making celestial blossoms for her niece's kitchen. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> and Laura says, I was already working close to 20 years when you graduated, so enough with feeling old. <laughs> all right, let me switch to this one so I can see you all, so you can all see me laughing away here having fun um so we've done these so these are fairly easy right pretty straightforward there's no really wrong way you can go with these just uh, avoid basting the long edges you really don't have to you can if you want but you're gonna open it anyways when we remove when you remove the papers for the edges because they're going along the edge of the quilt right where did we go let me show you the coloring page Ah, there we go. So these half petals are going to go see this one right there. So this is right along the edge of the quilt. So you're going to have to open it up anyway. So that's why I'm like, oh, why even bother basting it in the first place, right? So just leave the long sides open on your half, half pieces. Okay. 
And oh, Nancy retired almost three years ago. Happy almost three year anniversary, retirement anniversary. Fun, fun, fun. And uh, oh, Susan got recommendation from Saza to go look for fabric on the Moda website. Oh, cool. And Tony says, I graduated high school and never looked back. I think yeah, I think high school was fun. Less um less I don't know. A little bit of pressure to kinda since I came late here to the States in the middle of high school kinda ish. I had to uh catch up on a lot of the um curriculum so I could apply for college. So that was the only stressful thing. But I had a lot of fun fun in high school. That was fun times. And then college was, yeah, a whole different experience. Let's see. Oh, Nancy is having dinner tonight with former classmates. How fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Susan, I'm thinking you're uh, replying to the not having to base the edges, right? So this is not just for the Sun Seeker, right? Any other EPP pattern when you have pieces that go right along the edge that you're going to have to undo anyway, open up, because these sides are going to be sewn, but the long side's going to be opened up to sew um, sashing or your um, binding to it, so you're going to open it, so why baste it? Yeah. Save yourself some headache opening it up. Plus, it makes it really easy when you remove the papers to just... Well, now I glued it down. You did not see that. So now... I, oh my god, I put so much glue. Ding dong. And then it just pops out. Okay. Any questions? Everybody's okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I think everybody's doing all right. Yeah, so then take your center and just sew your petals on just like we did in um, week one when you sew the petals on to the sides here and then just make sure you sew a half petal to each side on the edges here. And then you got the full petals on the inside. Oh, oh. So Sonia said, well, the water is worse than the wind sometimes. Oh, yeah. I've never been in a hurricane, so I can't even imagine. But yeah, it must be scary. Oh. <gasps> 24 hours of rain without stopping. Holy moly, that is so everything must be super soggy out there, right? So, like crazy, or is it drying out fast too? <gasps> wow, 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 wow! I'm gonna wait and see if you guys have any questions about this, or if it makes sense. I think it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a few, I think a few people asked, I don't, I think I just put the coloring sheet, the blank one that didn't have the guidelines. Did you guys want this too? Let me know. I didn't know if this would be useful at all or not, but yeah, I figured the plain one would be easier so you can kind of play with the size instead of going by these. Because I feel restricted when I see guidelines, but then that's me. So let me know. And I can make sure I share this version too, instead of just a plain coloring sheet. I don't even have one here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, so Lori said yes. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and add that. Wow, lots of flooding. Wow. On the lowlands has been the worst. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so 
Time for some honesty. How many blocks do you all have done? I got quite a few. But then I turned some of them into the individual, so I had to make some more. Let me know in the chat. You have one block, two block, three block, four block. And Salsa says, hurricanes are scary. Never seen rain like it. We only caught the end of one, and that was bad enough. Water damage can be awful if there is flooding. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I've, I've never been in a hurricane, but flash floods, those are like freaks of nature, too. It's like, oh, my God. Like, one minute you're in the sun, and all of a sudden, it's like a shower curtain of rain, and it just comes pouring down like there's no tomorrow, and then poof, it's gone again. Oh, wow, Julie, you went through Hurricane Katrina. Wow, scary. And Sasa has not started. <laughs> well, you've been busy, though, so that makes sense. Yeah. Did you ever finish your crochet project that you were working on? Um. <gasps> wow, Sheridan did whole flowers and ten and a half flowers. And attached all of the leaves. My fingers are sore. Oh my god. We, we need this for Sheridan. <laughs> Holy moly, you did a lot. What size are you making, Sheridan? I'm curious to know. Uh... Ooh, Helen's making seven with 17 different fabrics. Small tops. So it works out perfectly. Seven blocks in the center and ten half blocks. Yay! Can't wait to see Helen And let's see. Oh, snowfall. Yes. Ooh, ah. Oh, Zaza finishes finished the crochet blanket and gifted it last month. Yay! <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> and Sheridan's making the smaller quilt. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Uh, wow, 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 wow. And Robin just got her center fabric today. Ooh, what fabric did you get, Robin? Did you share? I would love to see. I would love to see. Let's see. Did you post it anywhere? Oh, it came today, so you haven't shared it. <laughs> I'm trying to look it up. <laughs> okay. So today was pretty easy, right? Nothing difficult. So what I want to cover next week is doing the uh, connecting blocks and how you can sew your flowers together with the connecting stone, the small stone and the big stone. That's what we've been calling it. So uh, you have the small stone and the big honking stone here. So these are your pieces that will connect your flowers, your sun seekers in between. There's a little pieces in here, right, that you see? And the big piece or the little pathways we could call it I guess between the flowers that's what we'll do next week and then easy peasy house was completely underwater oh my goodness wow yeah I hope you don't get any more hurricanes holy moly Oh my god, Laura, you had hurricanes when you lived in Florida too? Wow. <sighs> yeah, ooh. And Susan has a bunch of C's done. I'm thinking you're talking about the uh, wedding ring quilt. Yes, the C pieces. Ooh, can't wait to see. And Nancy is knitting cotton dishcloths. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Uh, uh, 
Oh yeah, Sony. I, I hope you stay safe. I hope we don't have too many hurricanes this season. It, it is hurricane season now, or has it started already? Like way before. Like the only time I know there's a hurricane is when the news mention it. Yeah. So what I'll have to do to catch up with you guys. Let's do this one. I have to go back and fix it. Because I remember I told you I wanted to do every other. So this, I'm just going to pluck one out. Switch it out for this. And then I'll put this next. But that'll be easy. So I can catch up. Oh, hurricane season is till the end of November. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, everybody stay safe. June 1st to November. Oh, we're, we're in the worst part of the season now. Mm, that's slow. I e. hope Sonia stays safe. Everybody that's in hurricane, you know, territory that you all stay safe and that we don't have anything crazy this year. Yeah, and send some rain over here to California. We'll take some. We need it. Don't, don't send the hurricane, just send the rain. <laughs> All right, does anybody have any questions? Let's see here. Is this okay? Okay. Oh, Jennifer grew up in Kansas with Dorothy and Toto Tornadoes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you've experienced it all, Jennifer. I thought earthquakes were like the worst thing. But I've only had we've only had like little ones here in California too lately. I haven't had noticed any felt or haven't felt any of the big ones. So we've been all been lucky, I think. Yes. Uh, let's see. What? Julie. Oh, Julie had a tornado. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tornadoes. E. No, no, thank you. Oh, Sasa says the sheet you have with it. Yeah, I'll upload that so you guys can download it. Yes. So for the cold sizes, right? Yeah. Uh, so for the uh, edge templates and going. Going forward from now, or I'm actually trying to move all the um, PDF downloadables, all the downloadables from my Etsy shop to my website. It's a process. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'm trying to move everything from Etsy to my website. So I, I was trying to put it on Shopify, but that's like another like 500 white hairs I'll try it again if that's faster than moving on to my website itself then we'll see how that goes cuz uh, yeah Etsy takes a big chunk of fees out and then no one can ever find their download so half the time I'm in their <laughs> answering messages like where's your download and then I have to send it anyways so I figured maybe it'll be easier if I just moved all the uh, PDFs to my website. <gasps> Taiwan got an earthquake on Sunday. Eee. Yeah, so also, yeah, the coloring sheet, I'll make that as a downloadable for you. Uh, oh, Lori, that's so true. I think no matter where you go, there's always something to deal with. Back in Sweden, there's like 
truck ton. I was about to say a bad word, like a ton of snow. So there's always something to deal with, like super, super cold. So there's always something wherever you go. Yes, um, Jennifer. Yeah, I went over how to utilize your clicks. Uh, you, you utilize your acrylics to trace for your templates for the half blocks and so you have it all yeah in the replay definitely so as soon as the live's over the replay will be available right away just that you won't see the live chat that's so i'm learning as we go the live chat is the only thing that you won't see for another 24 hours as youtube is processing it but you can always leave comments underneath the video so it's not part of live chat Oh, and for those of you that are here but you can't chat with us, the reason you can't uh, join the live chat is because you don't have a YouTube account or you haven't logged into your account. So you don't need to set up a YouTube channel, but you just need to have a YouTube account, which is completely free. And usually if you have a Google account, let's say Google, like a Gmail account, you can you just link those two and then you have a YouTube account. Super easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nancy, I haven't uploaded a PDF. I haven't worked on a PDF version yet, so I'll I still have to work on the PDF for the Edge templates, and then it's probably going to be listed on my website instead of Etsy. I'm going to see how that works out. Because uh, about fifty percent of the time, folks that download, I mean that order downloads on Etsy, they can't find it for some. I don't know where the emails from Etsy end up. It's not in people's spam folder, not in their inbox. And, but that's an automated message that I don't send, but Etsy sends it once you purchase a PDF or digital download. And then when they can't find it, then I'm sending it manually anyhow. So I figured maybe I should just move those to my website so it'll be easier. Then it'll send the link to you right away and you can just download it. Well, I mean, we'll try. We'll see how it goes. Uh... Oh, and, oh, and Susan said Canada's east coast is getting remnants of the hurricane this weekend. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure what you mean, Zaza. Microsoft? I don't use Microsoft. What do you mean? Explain. Uh, let me scroll up here make sure I didn't miss anything so yeah so if you have a gmail account and you you just I think maybe I should click through as if I'm setting it up I know it's super easy just making a YouTube account See, yeah, that, that's the default email I first send out when people can find it, but then they still can find it. So then I'm sending manual emails with their downloads. Oh, and yeah, and if you sign, uh, if you purchase as a guest user and you're not logged into your Etsy account, then good luck. I don't know where those emails go. And then people can't log into their account to find them. Oh, that's what you meant. Uh, so Sasa said if you have a Microsoft account like Google, they are all connected. Yeah, so if you just log into your Gmail account and then you happen to go hop, hop on over to um, where are we? YouTube, it'll usually ask you, like, do you want to set up an account? Or you can just say that this is you and you just verify your email with YouTube and then it, you have an account already. And then you can do live chat with us. Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you're super safe, Sonia, and that you were able to get internet connection back up and running so you could join us today. And let's see. And I'm gonna. Let's see. I don't know what Facebook's doing. People are still freaking out. But we'll figure it out. So I'm going to go fix this. Don't know what's going on. Mm. 
It is funny. Let's see. Let's do that. And we'll see you guys next week. And oh, let me switch view here. Let me, I'll see you guys next week and we'll put our connecting pieces together so we can start working out how to sew your whole top together. And if you don't have more than one flower or not even one flower, one sun seeker done, don't worry about it. You'll have access to these um, uh, videos on YouTube. They're always there. So you can always come back. And I hope everybody stays safe no matter what the weather conditions are. And have fun with all your EPP adventures. Oh, thank you, Saza. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. <laughs> Have a good day, and uh, if you guys see someone freaking out in the Facebook group too, if you could just let them know that we're trying to work on it, see what Facebook's doing. Alright, thank you so much for your help, and I'll see you guys in the group. <laughs> Bye!